Mountain Base Zombies is back, Cold War Story Mode, and even new and returning power-ups. Let's get right into the video. So yes, guys, Round Base Zombies is actually coming back in Black Ops 6 with two new maps called Terminus and Liberty Falls. We don't know a whole lot about these maps as far as what they look like or what they'll even feature. All we can kind of know is they'll have windows, they'll have doors, and of course, mystery boxes. However, we may not know too much about these two maps alone, but for the whole BO6 zombie experience, we do know that it will be following the Dark Aether narrative from Black Ops Cold War. However, with this information, I'm not sure if we're just going to be based on the same timeline as Cold War or if we'll actually be grabbing the story from the end of Cold War and then continuing it through Black Ops 6. Now, something I know many of you guys who aren't even zombie fans are pretty aware of just because this is so advertised, but the Warden is coming back as a playable operator within Black Ops 6. If you guys aren't too familiar with Warden, he was a zombie character back in the later Black Ops series and now he will be coming to Black Ops 6 as his own operator. Although this does mean that the Warden is an operator within multi player black ops 6 zombies and warzone it does not mean that he will never come back and replay his role as a zombie character within the call of duty black ops 6 zombie experience so guys this is kind of where i want you guys to go down in the comments and let me know would you love to see the warden come back and reprise his role in the zombie experience or do you kind of just like having him as an operator? This is your time to answer that down below. If you guys pre-order, the Warden is not the only zombie item you'll be receiving. The Vault Edition for BO6 will also be receiving some zombified weapons. These weapons are all believed to be Mastercraft bundles, meaning they come with tracers and or death effects. So in total, we have five zombified weapons, one being a melee, one being an AR, one being a sniper, one SMG, and one shotgun. With all these zombified cosmetics coming in the form of the Vault Edition of the title, it is believed that zombies will actually have a bigger role in this year's Call of Duty title. Speaking more into the zombie game mode, it looks like Call of Duty is going to be implementing new and returning power-ups. This area in the blog post was very small and very brief, so I don't really know too much on what the new power-ups will be or even what the returning power-ups will be. At the end of the video, guys, if you don't mind going down to the comments and let me know down below what ideas for power-ups you would have and what returning power-ups would you get rid of to add new ones for. Personally, I'm going to take out Carpenter. It's just not my favorite, and every time I see it, I feel like it's a giant tease. I'm not sure what I would have to replace it. Maybe like an instant pack-a-punch power-up or something like that would be cool, but let me know your ideas down below, guys. Finally, for all my Easter egg hunters and secret finders, this part is for you. Along with the two completely new maps, it does seem that these maps will be fully packed with easter eggs and secrets around the map. Of course, we don't know too much about these maps, so we don't know what these easter eggs can entail, but they are going to have them. They are going to keep you guys involved. If you're easter egg hunters, you are in luck. Black Ops 6 Zombies is going to have packed full of easter eggs and secrets for you guys to go out and find. Guys, let me know down below what you're most excited for with this Black Ops 6 Zombies mode release. Personally, guys, I'm just ready for round-based zombies to make its return. It's been so long without it that I just, I'm dying for it. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Share the video if you thought it deserved it. Most importantly, guys, go down to that comment section. Leave some constructive criticism on what I can change to do better and make the videos better for you guys to watch. From background gameplay to audio issues to just how the pictures appear on the screen, let me know down below anything that can make the videos better and more enjoyable for you guys. I do read and react to all comments, so if you guys want to leave something down below about how good the video was, that also is great. I love reading those comments. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.